Hi guys, welcome to this session in Power BI. In this module, I want to talk to you about how you can create your own theme, set your own color scheme in Power BI. So on the screen, I have a theme selected and each page has the same theme. So if I click onto a different page, you can see that the theme is coming through onto these different pages like so. Now, if I go back and change that theme to a different one, a more colorful one, you'll see the impact of that a little better, I think. So now as I go through, you can see that that theme is all the way through on all the sheets once you've selected a theme. Now, if you want to create your own theme, you basically have to modify one of these. So if I pick uh, this one, so that's changed that theme. So I can now go into this little drop down, scroll down to the bottom and click on customize current theme. And I get the colors that are already on there. At the top, I can name this theme. I'll just call this sax. And then you can change any of these colors as you wish. Now I'm going to just go through these options. So on text, I want the font. I find the font to be a bit small. So I'm going to try 14. I can come back and change that afterwards. Font color is okay, black. You've got, that's general. You've got the titles, that's on 12. Font, okay, everything, that's okay. I'll leave that as it is. These are all default. I'll leave them all as they are. I'll go into the visuals. So color, background color. Now I'm going to put some different back, background colors on it. Go for an orange, I'll select that one click away and then transparencies on zero I'll put that to 50 something so you can see that you've got the border area your border border on then you can change the color make it slightly larger header area this is the bit at the top of a visual so I'll go for a red click away from that and border color i'll also go red click away and transparency i'll put that in the middle as well this doesn't mean you can't come and edit this afterwards if you've made it slightly garish but i'll leave it like that tooltip label text color all of this is black background color i'll go for orange or yellowish that'll do and then coming down this is the page the page itself so you've got wallpaper, so I'm going for, I'll go for a lilac color. Transparency, I push that across to right over, 100%. Page, background, I'll go for the same color actually, or similar color, a bit darker. And again, um, transparency, I'll, I'll leave that at 50-ish percent. Next one down, you've got filter pane. So this is the pane that comes up on the right. Background color, I'm going to go for the same color, a lilac color like that. Transparency, put it to 54. Font, font size, just make that a little bit bigger and then leave everything else the same. Available cards. So these are the cards. Um, I'll change the color slightly on these. So this depends what filter you've actually got selected, whether you're going to see this font and con color, icon color. I'll leave that like that. Maybe change the font up a bit. And then the other ones is the same. Go for a different color just to make this slightly obvious that we've changed things. So I'm okay with all of that. So now I'm going to click on apply and see what damage I've done. Oh, I quite like that. That's all right. So that has applied that just to this first sheet, though. So let's have a look at this second one. So if I drop that down, custom, that is the one that I did. Okay, so it's picking up. Okay, it's doing the same thing on every sheet. That's okay. It's cascaded through. I quite like the font being slightly bigger. Obviously, on this one, I'd have to make the visual a bit bigger because I can't see it. That's good. The filter is purple, as I said, and then the colors are a bit garish. 
I didn't say I was good at doing colour schemes, but there we go. I'm not overly um, unhappy with that. That's the, the that's the header sort of thing. Um, and the colour scheme's probably clashing a little bit there. But I think if you do it like this, it's probably quicker than to click onto a visual. If I click on to um, this one, you have to go over here and go through all of these little options and then have a look at general options just to do a format on a visual and then you want to copy that visual across to another one that format to another one and so on and so on you may as well use a theme so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can customize and create your own theme in power bi so hopefully this video has been of use Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.